Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. In this video, we're gonna talk about One Two Point One, and it is an open and advanced large-scale video generation model. Um, it is very popular, and you can see that uh, in the past maybe one or two days, it's already got five K stars, and it's available as a CLI command, and also it is on Hugging Face, so you can download those models. But those models are very big. Um, and also the steps are very complicated, as you can see from the readme. Um, it is a little bit hard to follow if you are actually just started with the uh, video generation. So uh, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to do that on Comfy UI for free. And Comfy UI is probably the easiest way to build a high quality 1.2.1 pipeline. And that being said, let's get started. As you can see here, I've already built it. So you can see that's on the public uh, URL and you can also get that for free. We'll show that later. And you can see this is a Comfy UI pipeline. And um, this is the um, model that we're gonna use. So it's a GGRF model, not the model that is actually provided by the readme. Uh, the difference is the GGRF model is a 4B model. So it's a lot smaller and uh, it's uh, high quality. Also, it is from the CD96 uh, repo. Um, you can see from here, so it's from CD96. They did a great quantization of the original 1.2.1 1, uh, text to video 14B. So it's not 1.3B, but 14B model. It is very good. So we're going to use this model for the pipeline. Let's go back to the Comfy UI canvas. And so you can see that we already generated um, this great uh, video using this uh, very simple, simple pipeline and also with the uh, clip, which is provided by official uh, Comfy UI repo and also the VAE. So it's also uh, provided by the Comfy UI org. Uh, I'll show that later, but um, this is the pipeline where we're gonna show you how to build today. That being said, let's continue with the uh, Kaggle notebook. So we're gonna build everything on Kaggle. So um, it's very convenient and you don't have to uh, buy a local GPU. So you can just use the GPU on Kaggle. So you can just go to Accelerator. You can see that we're using the GPU P100. So which is 16 gigs, you can see here. So the pipeline is probably uh, 12 gigs, but you can see if it's not running, then it probably is nine gigs. Um, so that being said, let's continue with the Comfy UI setup. So I've demoed this for a few videos. Feel free to check that out. Uh, just search for Comfy UI. For this video, we're gonna go through this quickly. And you can see first, we have to switch the uh, folder. So instead of the working folder, we're gonna switch to the Kaggle tab, which will have a non-persistent storage, which is up to about 70 gigs. Then we have to pip install for Torch Vision, Torch Audio. Then we have to do a git clone for the Comfy UI. After that, make sure you install the uh, requirements uh, dependencies. So uh, in this pipeline, we need three things. First, the GGUF model. So this, as we mentioned earlier, is from the CD96, 1.2.1 text to video, 14B GGUF. I'll put the link in the description, but this is the model we're using, it's the 4-bit model. Then we make sure that model is in the UNI folder. So copy the model to the UNI folder. And then the second one is the text encoder. So we just call it clip and to make sure you download from the Comfy org, this offshore Comfy UI org repo. So using this link, 1.2.1, Comfy UI repackaged and then go to the split files, text encoder, and use the one that provided. Then uh, move this um, clip or text encoder to the clip folder. And after that, um, you just need to download the VAE, do a double get, and then you can get the also the VAE from the same REPL, which is from the uh, Comfy UI um, org, and also the split files. Go to the VAE. This is the VAE they provided. As offshore from the Comfy UI support, then move that um, VAE file to this VAE folder, and that should be it. So, if you want to upscale the model or up to upscale the video, then I have another tutorial for that, which is from the Hunyan video. Also, put the link in the description. But uh, if you want to use that uh, upscale feature, then you need this model. But you don't have to use that. I just put it here so that you can actually use this. Um, if you follow the Hunyan video tutorial I posted a while ago. So uh, that's the model we are using. It is the Face Argument 3, and they use this model, which is 4x, 4 Hari. Um, that's the model. So, but let's continue. 
after all the three things are set, then all you have to do is go to the customer nodes, uh, which is the CDC 96, uh, Coffee UI GGUF, then use the uh, GGUF uh, custom nodes. Um, so uh, to actually load the GGUF model we talked about earlier, then after that, make sure you also install the requirements. Then you have to install another model, which is Coffee UI Manager. I will install a video hopper uh, node if you need that, but it's not required. We just install the Configure Manager as a standard practice. So that should be it. After that, make sure to check every um, folder, see the nodes and no models are all exist in the routing folders. That should be it. So then just make sure uh, you use a internal app. Um, it could be local internal as we demo in this video, uh, which is the um, one of the uh, free internal you can use. The other one is for Ungrok. So uh, we're going to use local terminal for this video, but we use a lot of the Ungrok tutorials in other videos. So then if you want to use local terminal, you don't need to register, just follow steps uh, in this video. Uh, you have to upgrade the node. So just do a npm cache clean and npm install global node and then do a node stable. So you'll install the latest version, uh, stable node v22. And then make sure you do npm install local terminal. Then after that, make sure you use the uh, local terminal, do the port 818080. So this is the uh, config UI port. And then to output that to output file, then check the file, which is the public URL we're demoing here. It's chatty. And that's it. So this is a uh, URL that you're seeing here. So basically, this is a URL that is public. And then the password is uh, from the um, website. So you can just use this link to actually get the password. And that should be it. So you're already good to go with the terminal. And uh, make sure you also start the config UI, which is just go to the config UI and do a Python main.py. That's it. You can see that uh, the config UI is up. And because we're already um, run the pipeline, so you can see the progress is in here. So it's 100%, 30 steps. So this is the uh, component we're using. So you can download this from the Config UI social repo. So they're already provided, but as I mentioned earlier, um, you need to do a little, little bit change. So um, this is the a repo. So you can view examples, one, two point uh, one models, and you can download the model, which is the uh, pretty big one. So don't use that one, that's too big. And uh, I think they provide it here. So that's actually the GitHub repo. So they provide it in here, but this is very big. So we're using the GGF version, which is a lot smaller. You can see the, um, it's only about nine gigs, but if you use the other ones, that's very big. So don't um, use that uh, if you want to try this demo on Kaggle. So you do need to download this uh, text encoder and also the VA. Just follow these uh, two links. You should be able to get those files, but the model is different. So we're going to download a different model using the ninety CD96 uh, repos model. And uh, the, you can download the uh, workflow from here, uh, workflow from here. So then that should be it. So let's go back to the canvas for uh, Config UI. So just replace that um, diffusion model to the UNet Boulder GGUF. And that should be it. You can see this is from the uh, 2.1 image uh, text to video, 14B, 4B model. And also the clip is the one that we downloaded from the offshore Config UI repo. And also uh, the VA. Uh, that's also with only from 1, 2.1 VA. So that's also from Comfy UI offshore repo. That should be it. And you can adjust the size of the uh, video, uh, width and height. Um, uh, so in this demo, we can use the 512 to 68. You can use a different one. Uh, that's as your choice. That should be it. You can um, use the video combine. So we've just used the default one, which is the uh, YP version. Um, so this is a little bit uh, restricted. If you want a more scalable or better uh, video uh, mechanism, then you can just use the video combine. So you can use the MP4 or other format if you want to download it. But um, just for demo purpose, we use the safe animated WebP. So this is a default from the Webflow. You can try uh, the scale upscale, as I mentioned in the previous Hongyong video. As a pipeline is showing here, you can actually use the model to scale the uh, generated video. Uh, but we're not going to demo everything in this video. Feel free to check out the whole new video GGRF version. Then you should get an idea of how to scale the video you generated with the 1, 2.1. So that should be it. Um, hopefully, and this is helpful. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And see you in the next one.